To prepare a butternut squash, you first need to cut the ends off like this. Now, butternut squash has a pear shape, if you will, so I need to cut it in the middle to make my job easier. Then I start peeling the pieces one by one, keeping in mind the shape of each piece, so that I can cut around it without wasting too much flesh. Notice how I cut through the skin without efforts, thanks to my sharp knife, and notice how I try to follow the outline of the vegetable. Now safety first, so I advise you to use a very good chef knife for this job and uh, make sure your cutting board is safely secured with a rubber mat. The peel is a little tough and resistant, so make sure you're not distracted to do this job. And also, of course, make sure to tuck your fingers like a bear claw, just like I'm doing. Now we're done with the larger piece, which by the way contains the seeds, but uh, I'll talk to you about that in a second. Next, I start cutting each piece lengthwise, and my goal is to dice that butternut squash. So I'm cutting it lengthwise, and when I'm done with that, then it's time to cut batonnet, as the French call it, or pieces that have the shape of a large French fry. And then, that's where I rotate the pieces and start dicing the entire butternut squash. Now the larger piece, as I said, contains the seeds. So I'm going to need to scoop those out with a large spoon. So I'm just cutting it halfway, grab a spoon, and then remove the seeds from each butternut squash. Make sure that throughout this process you keep your station relatively clean and organized. Now it's basically the same process to dice the larger piece, except that, of course, I'm going to need to adapt my cuts to the shape of that large piece. But the principle is the same. I make um, batonne or french fries, as we call it, and then you know, just dice the batonnets to finish the butternut squash. Now, of course, a butternut squash can be made like this, but uh, that is the case also for uh, acorn squash, pumpkin, spaghetti squash, and any other vegetables. Voila, this is a technique to prepare butternut squash.